Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to be watching a little video called Modern Women Are Shocked When They Get Treated Like Men. A thousand dollars or you get to spend the day with me, which are you choosing? A thousand dollars. I won't be offended. A thousand bucks. A thousand. <laughs> Rejected. So, what you rate yourself? One to ten. Ten. Would other people agree with that? Guess so. So, what do you rate this girl 1 to 10? Mm, we'll wait, yeah. Probably like a 5. Rejected. What do you rate yourself 1 to 10? Um, I'll give myself a 6. 6? Mm -hmm. Would other people agree with that? Yeah. What do you rate this girl 1 to 10? 2.5. Rejected. It's one secret you never told your ex. That I'm a big flirt and I flirt with motherfucking everybody and his friends included. She belongs to the streets. His friends? Yep, I'm a big flirt. I just had to break up with my boyfriend because I saw him texting this girl named Madre saying that he loves her and she was saying that she would help him with his taxes this weekend. And I don't know how to help him with his taxes. <laughs> Move, bitch. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. I just prefer girls in literally every possible way of speaking. And... <laughs> like, what does if that I even could mean? Go through life without interacting with men. That sounds like paradise. In China, if you're a woman, Ooh. single, and over 30, you are called shengdu, which means leftover woman in Mandarin. In Cantonese, you are called lao dai chang, mai jing zhe, and sip zhou la, which means orange at the bottom of the basket, <laughs> the sugar king that didn't get sold, and the thing used for filling the gap of the stove. Wow. But if you're a man, single, and over 30, you are called zuan shi wang lao wu, which means a diamond bachelor in Mandarin. Diamond bachelor. In Cantonese, you are called sun pun, which means quality real estate. What's your body count? Mm, 55. Really? Mm, How old are you? 56. How old are you? 21. 21? That's enough internet for me today. I'm telling you straight up, you got 50 partners and you're in your 20s as a female. That's nasty. I don't care who I just insulted. That is nasty. That's nasty. Why is it nasty, you ask? Well, it shows that you don't take sex seriously. You can't have had 50 people that you were in love with. Come on. You can't have had 50 serious relationships at that point. When did you start? Eight. So that tells me that you're fickle with your body. Very fickle with your body. That tells me that a lot of that um, uh, sex is, is without emotion. It tells me that um, these young girls are having probably a lot of self-esteem issues and are using the validation of being able to get a, get a man to sleep with them uh, as, a, as an ego boost. That tells me that you're not being terribly particular. 50 is extremely high number. So that's not attractive. It's not sexist to say that that is less desirable than someone who has body count of one. I used to be a hoe. I ain't no hoe no more. I ain't been no hoe in a long time, Steve. A long time. I'm trying to change. Stop the cap. <laughs> you were a hoe. Back in the days. How long haven't you been a hoe for? For, for a little minute. For, for a, what? For a, little minute. a minute. How how long? About two, about a year. So do you guys think like hookup culture is good or bad for people? I think it can be good as long as you're doing it in a constructive way. Yeah. What is constructive? <laughs> as long as it's not bad for your mental health, then yeah, go do it. Like as long as you're being safe too, like wear protection, yeah, like yeah. think about it. Yeah. Do you think a woman's body count matters? No, no. not at all. No, it doesn't matter. No. No matter the matter. gender, it does not matter what your body count is. Do you think that a man would want a woman with a high body count or a low body count? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And if a man doesn't want a girl with a high body count, then he doesn't deserve the girl. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Stop it. Get some help. I mean, I would argue that it's if a guy has standards of not wanting a woman with a high body count, then it actually shows more about the man. Then I date a woman. <laughs> How do you poop at a guy's place? I do it. I like to mark my territory. I'm like a dog. <laughs> 
If there's one mm-hmm. thing that women and men can agree on, it's that it is objectively dangerous for women to walk alone at nighttime, to be outside at nighttime, and we all know why. So I just don't think it is that radical to propose that one day a week men should get a curfew so that women can go on walks at nighttime. Yeah, or- but it's also dangerous for men to walk alone at night. Like, I'm under no illusions that the majority of attacks on women are perpetrated by men but the majority of attacks on men are perpetrated by men (laughs) you know you don't put yourself in a dangerous position and it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman you're not going to walk through the park at night on your own you're just not even like with like multiple people i there are places you just don't go at night and that's just common sense and no i don't think men need a curfew do you really think that the uh, the bad guys are going to abide by that? Come on. Or just like be outside. Imagine the freedom of being able to just go on a run at three o'clock in no, the morning. <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ. So we hear a lot of women being told not to settle. I would definitely tell the men, do not settle. Um, I, I want to apologize for believing this lie that I can have it all, that I don't need a man, that children are a burden, that my career is more important than anything, that my bank account um, can replace a person being a husband for me. I'm so sorry that I was this feminist that media, movies, songs, uh, influencers were convincing me that I can do everything by myself and that being feminine and vulnerable was the wrong thing to do mm-hmm. and um, that I can choose to be masculine when it's a role that I don't want, I'm not qualified for, and therefore I cannot tell men what to do. So I just want to apologize for my part in it, for believing all this BS. Winter is here, guys, and a lot of modern women are starting to wake up. They're realizing, man, I drunk the wrong Kool-Aid. I shouldn't listen to that feminist modern-day propaganda that says I'm against men and, and the patriarchy needs to be torn down and uh, you're a misogynist. So now women are starting to say, I don't want to pay any bills. I don't want to have to buy my own home. I don't want to have to do all these different things on my own. I want a companion. I want a man who's strong, who's masculine, who's able to lead, who's able to protect me. So these women are going on apology tours like this woman and you can applaud her for it. But a lot of women, it's going to be too late for them because they think that men are the enemy. No, us men are never the enemy. See, it's only misogynistic if you have standards, if you have expectations, if you want a woman who can cook, who can clean, who hasn't been ran through. That's all. See, if a man has things that he voices and he wants from a woman, then he's seen as the bad guy. Mm -hmm. But a woman can have a whole bunch of things. She wants a guy who's six feet tall, who makes six figures, who's in shape, who's able to do all these different things, make her laugh. But we don't demonize her. So a lot of these women, they're going to be on the outside looking in. And they're going to be with a whole bunch of cats. And they're going to have their box wine. And they're going to be sitting alone at night. You can tell someone's a slut when you see multicolored lights through the window. And and yes, that that is my window. I'm not even saying this to be funny, but you should be pissing off a man as soon as possible. You will see their true colors very, very quickly. They'll say something, they'll do something, and you will know if that's a man that you should be dealing with. What do you think the issue is with modern dating? Um, I think men are idiots. All of them. Listen, I'm 32 years old. You gonna get a good 15 minutes out of me. You gotta dig her fucking guts out till she motherfucking busts. We gonna skip her. All the lady sandwich eating. We not eating no cockney sandwiches. You got 15 minutes to get yours because I'm going to get mine regardless. <laughs> if you're not sucking my toes, we're not going to last too long. Oh, hell no. What's the worst lie you ever told an ex? That I didn't cheat on him. <laughs> oh. Um, I hope to get a girlfriend like you one day. Uh, yeah, I'm wifey material. <laughs> she belongs to the street. Oh. You know he black. Your wife. I am definitely the head of my household. I, I ain't asked about the house. The wife is the head of the house. Are you the head of your wife? The household means the wife, children, dog, bills. It means it all. Are you the head of your wife? Jesse, do you have dementia, brother? Are you the head? You didn't answer that question yet. I didn't ask you about the house. I didn't ask you about the dog. I didn't ask you about the finance. I asked you about your wife only. 
I think I think Jesse, you developing dementia, brother. Come on now, you're asking the same question and you're not answering. You know, or do you have a listening issue, my brother? I don't care about you, Jesse. I'll listen this time. Are you the head of your wife? I'm the head of my complete household: wife, children. Come on now, dog. Dog bills, everything. I didn't. Have he didn't want to say yes to just the wife question because he knows that he ain't in charge of his wife and that she would kick shit out of him when he got home. It's not the question. Are you the head of your wife? Jesse, you ever hear in front of my brother? Uh, You're not answering the question. How many of y'all heard me say that of everything? How many people heard me say it? I didn't ask about everything. Okay. See, they, they, they don't agree with you. You don't agree, right? See, they don't agree with you. We got to wrap it up. All right, everybody. Jess Lee Peterson. Jess Lee Peterson. We'll do a round four another time. You didn't answer the question. Thank you. You the head of your wife, and the answer, it, but the man is supposed to be the head of his wife. Did you hear me say I'm the head of my household? No, no, wife, no, no, children. No, no, no. Okay, if you're not head of your children, then what are you? You said household means everything. Beta. Oh, nice. Beta. Now we can't even talk if you don't have a woman, Jesse. Uh, yeah. This is actually very scary to listen to. This is sad. This is a red flag. You can tell who runs that marriage. She wears the pants clearly. She calls the shots. And a lot of guys have this mindset of happy wife, happy life, that as long as I don't rock the boat, as long as I don't say nothing crazy or, or say something that's gonna make her mad or frustrated, then I don't have to sleep on the couch. I don't have to go in my man cave. I can have sex on occasion every once in a blue moon. And you can tell that that guy is afraid of his wife. Even the woman, the older woman was like, listen, he's asking you, do you run your wife? Are you in the head of your wife? Do you lead your wife? And he kept saying, oh, I, I pay the bills. I did, of course you pay the bills. That's what you got to do. Uh, the dog, no. And a lot of guys, they know that if I say that, man, I, I'm the head of my wife, then she's probably going to watch this and, and I'm going to get in trouble. So uh, let me just say the politically correct answer. My God. Captain, the lifeboats are ready to go. Should we load the women and children first? No, men and children first. Excuse me, sir. It's 2022, Private. A woman can handle a sinking ship just as well as a man can. And if you don't think so, you're a misogynistic asshole stuck in 2008. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, for the time being, I am requiring men and children only. Whoa! Are you kidding me? It's 2022. This is what you wanted. You wanted to be treated equal <laughs> to men? Well, this is how men are treated. No, we don't. We just say that half the time. We don't actually believe in it. Yeah, we do. Come on. We're just as capable as men are. Shut, Shut up! up. <laughs> I identify as a man! Hey, 2022! Yeah. Sorry. Do you think I could go up on the door? It's 2022, Rose. I wouldn't want to imply that you can't handle the ice cold water the same way a man could. I think I'm dying, Jeff. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I love 2022. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, everyone's a feminist until there's actual struggle going on. Um, cool. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty funny. Um, gosh. I really hate modern society. I really hate modern society. I hate this, like, pitting men and women against each other all the time. You know, it's j it just frustrates me so much because we're sort of, we're made to go together. We're made to be a team. And um, it's just so damn depressing all the time that these these young girls, they feel like they have to, talk down about men all the time and and behave like men at the same time like the worst aspects of of uh, what it means to be a man to like sleep around and and all that and these young girls are, are being told that that's what they should be doing that they should uh you know just sleep with whoever they want and you know their career is going to be the most important part of their life that children are just a drain and um, yeah, that they never have to worry about getting married and having kids and all that stuff because they're just going to be a girl boss and uh, an independent woman who don't need no man. And uh, yeah, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> but thanks for watching this video. I'll see you very soon.